Folders. Who can live without them? Hi, I'm Hadass, and welcome to another episode of Tip Talk. In this one, I'd like to talk to you about folders. Yes, there are things I can say about folders. So let's jump in. In this episode, I'd like to talk to you about folders and show you how easy it is to keep everything organized in one place. Let's start with the home screen. You will see on the left side menu, you have a tab called All Your Folders. Once you click on that, you can see all your folders that you already made, or you can create new folders. At the moment, you can see I have only three, but let's go ahead and see how we add some new. One thing important to know is if you have a pro account, you have an unlimited amount of folders that you can create. If you have a free account, then you are limited to only two. To create a new folder, we will just go to the right top tab and click on create new folder. Once I click on that, I can name my folder as I'd like. Let's say for example, the team. And then I can choose if I would like to share this folder with any of my team members or anyone else, or I can just create the folder without sharing. Let's do that. Once I click on create folder, I get my new fresh folder. Now inside my folder, I can create some subfolders. Let's see what we have at the top right corner. I have the option when I click on three dots to rename my folder or delete it. I can click on this and create a subfolder. Let's say, for example, my subfolder would be the volunteers and click on create folder. I can upload directly here some designs, photos, videos, audio, whatever I'd like. And then I can just choose all my photos and open them straight from my computer and have them uploaded in my subfolder. I can also choose to share this straight from here. I'll just click on that and then I can pick whoever it is I want to share this with. Now let's see how we can start designing with photos that we uploaded into our folder. Let's say for example, I would like to use this photo in my design. One option is to just click on the photo and then I can choose either to download it in my computer, which I don't need to, or use in a design. If I use this in a design, this will automatically open up I can resize this to the size I want and start designing. Another option would be, I'll go back to the home page and start a design under create a design. Let's say we want to create an Instagram post. I'll just click on Instagram post. Let's say I pick this template. I can just go straight ahead to my folder and use the photos I uploaded there. I will just have to go to the left black menu, scroll down to folders, search for my folder. I can either scroll down or type in the name in the search bar. And then I can see the photos I uploaded. Let's just drag this. And once I'm done with my design, I can save this straight from here back into my folder or any other folder. I will just have to name my design first. Let's say volunteers January 2021. And now I'll just click on the file menu, scroll down to save to folder. And here I can choose any folder that I already have or even create a new one from this window. Let's go to the team folder. Then I can pick my subfolder or even create a subfolder as well. And once I click on that, I just click on save and this is automatically saved into my folder. Super easy, neat and organized. Now, one more important thing. If you want to star your folder, you need easy access to it. Let's go back to the home screen and see how easy it is to star your folder. Let's just go and pick our folder from the left. I'll click on all your folders and choose my folder. And you can see that I have a little star next to my folder's name. All I have to do is click on it. It turns to yellow and then it means it is starred. You can then find it very easily on the left menu right underneath here. And then every time you log into your account, you will automatically see it on your homepage right here. That's it. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope that you learned something new about folders. Share with me in the comments below what you thought about this episode and I'll see you next time. Bye.
Wow, thank you Adas for these precious tips and thank you for watching this video until the end. I have two playlists right here for those of you who want to go a bit deeper and keep learning. This one right here is a collection of step-by-step -step Canva tutorials. And this one gathers all of our Canva Space webinar recordings where Canva experts teach about all sorts of topics.